thank you. Three crosses set on fire at a predominantly black church in Silmar. Authorities are now investigating this as a possible hate crime. NBC 4's Ted Chen live with the latest on the investigation and how church leaders are responding. Ted. Michael, you're right. This is being investigated as a possible hate crime. And right now, investigators are looking for a surveillance video that might help them determine who the perpetrator or perpetrators might be. In the meantime, the pastor of this church says what happened will not shake their faith. It's only a cross. It's only wood. It can be replaced. Inside the sanctuary where he preaches on Sundays, Pastor Pierre Howard said he's been getting overwhelming support after crosses outside Silmar Christian Fellowship Church were set on fire sometime before 4 o'clock this morning. The support that you receive on a negative makes it a positive because now you realize that you're not alone. Outside, investigators applied a saline solution to the crosses to detect and remove any accelerant so it can be identified in a lab. Authorities say the fire was already out by the time firefighters arrived. They say the cross burning will be investigated as a potential hate crime by a Houses of Worship task force consisting of the L.A. Fire Department, LAPD, ATF, and FBI. The task force is uh, designed to make sure that we have uh, communication within all, all agencies and to pool all of our resources to make sure that we can uh, identify potential hate crimes. As a child, I used to come to this church and everything when I was a kid. You know, it's terrible, you know, what people do. Some are still holding on, holding on. Pastor Howard says he's thankful no one was hurt. He says he doesn't necessarily see the attack as racially motivated. I think this is more an act of hatred towards God as an individual than God as God's people. The Council on American Islamic Relations and the Anti-Defamation League are among those condemning the attack and showing support for this church. Reporting live from Silmar, Ted Chen, NBC4 News, Carolyn Michael, back to you. All right, Ted, thank you for that.